Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A day two of training for the Ghana Black Stars will take place today. But yesterday, 24 players took part in the first training session at the Ligon Sports Stadium, the new stadium that was built for the All Africa Games. And it was a, a raucous welcome from fans who stormed the place to a chair on the black stars in their first training and hopefully motivate them to do their best in the world cup qualifiers versus mali and central african republic two players were missing from training i made a mistake in my video when talking about the two missing players it was alexander juku and osman bukhari bukhari is expected to join the team we'll get an update on when these two guys will join exactly and what is up with them that is the champions league final borussia Dortmund versus real madrid We'll see how that one too. We'll go talk a bit about it. But as usual, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Click on that notification bell to get more updates. We jump right into it and first uh, talk about uh, uh, the Black Stars players who trained yesterday. 24 of them trained at the Ligon Sports Complex and it was a welcome, a heavy and huge and interesting and amazing welcome from fans who were at the Ligon Sports Stadium. They welcomed them uh, with open arms happily as they cheer them on. The boys uh, were all happy to see the fans as well i think it was great to see many people see that the black stars have not been performing well and that the black stars need uh, to do better but the truth is that no matter what uh, they will still cut the support of Ghanaians. that is how it is it's like a relationship you know your partner and how they are but you love them no matter what they do you still love them and you still support them no matter what you hope that they do change for the better uh, but that love despite at times being dormant is still there so that's the love relationship the black stars has uh, with the Ghanaian citizens and yesterday was shown heavily there however two players uh, were missing from the team the two of them were Osman Bukhari and Alexander Jiku. Uh, Jiku has an injury on his arm in the final game of the Turkish Super League season. He has a broken arm and he had to be assessed before coming in. I don't know if it means he will not be in the team, but only time will tell us for sure whether Alexander Jiku will be able to make it into the Black Star squad for this one. He is injured and uh, he's being assessed by his club side uh, before joining the rest of the team but uh, with day one of training gone if he doesn't join today and tomorrow i would not be so uh, positive about him playing for the ghana national team in their very first game versus mali we'll see how the central african republic game goes there but i will not be so optimistic if he doesn't come in and uh, train with the boys before they jet off to Mali. So that is the front of Alexander Juku with Osman Bukhari. Yes, Osman Bukhari just joined Austin FC in the MLS from Red Star Belgrade after winning a treble with Red Star Belgrade. He is joining the MLS here and Osman is, has been an amazing servant in the Champions League. We watched him he's off to the united states a deal with austin fc has been signed and sealed and he will be a new player in the mls so he's finalizing that deal before he joins the rest of the team no concerns about injury there on that front aside that it was a full strength squad uh, 24 out of the 26 that trained at the uh, legon sports uh, complex uh, thomas party the captain of the side was there along with the full technical team all were on show yesterday in the very first training session for the ghana black stars and uh, i'll touch on uh, comments coming in uh, from baby jetta samoa jan concerning the exclusion of andrea you we know that story has been making the rounds andrea use exclusion what does it mean is it the end of the road for andrea you will he ever get back into the team auto clarifying that in the presser what is up with andre well the truth is uh, that andre iu uh, might be in form right now uh, but in the national team probably what otto wants to build is for the future well baby jetta samwajan chipped in the conversation and this is what he said I think he should take it in good faith he might be angry due to his recent form but andre knows how to handle situations like this he will be fined he says uh, that uh, he also would not be 
PF. He was in the same situation as Andrea Yu, and he wasn't happy when it happened to him. Uh, Kwesi Apia, uh, the 2019 AFCON, in the lead up to it, uh, they removed the badge from him and did not allow him to play so much in that 2019 his final AFCON. So yeah baby jata samwaja knows what he is talking about and it is true he would not have been happy he was not happy when it happened to him he says the coach's decision and we need to move on from that the game in focus is mali and central african republic and baby jata samwaja has said that his head is telling him uh, mali but his heart is ghana because uh, he is a ghanaian he's a fan now uh, having retired from football it's obvious that right now we have players who play well for the various clubs and do so well for them uh, but then when they come together as a team you would find it difficult to determine what you are going to get because it's like putting uh, different good stuff together and they probably they are not combined well it is not going to reap the results you want. Baby Jet understands the situation right now in the national team. Results haven't been great. So if you are being an optimistic or a betting man, you'll be cautious. Even though you want Ghana to win, you know that the Ghana Black Stars track record has not been the best in recent times. So you'll be cautiously optimistic in that regard. But that being said, it's a game in which we are hopeful that we can get six points. It's going to be a tall order, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't feel so confident. But I hope that the boys will do the needful. Antoine should be more clinical. The supply line should flow. We should play as a team. We should not play as individuals. And I hope Otto uh, will get that into their heads. And uh, the midfielders look for strikers. The strikers be more clinical. Let's get our team going. Let's see how far uh, we can go. So that has been it for today. Update on Austin FC man, uh, Osman Bukhari, an injury uh, to uh, Ghana Black Stars defender Alexander Juku. Baby Jet has chipped in on the conversation regarding Andre Ayu and Ghana's uh, possibility of making it into the next phase of the competition. Oh, well, and making it into the World Cup with the two qualifier games. We'll see what happens on that front. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your weekend. A Champions League final tonight. Dortmund versus Real Madrid. How do you see it going? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Yeah, I'm not going to do that.